Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. I'm the method actor who plays Paul Pluter. And the Paul Pluter channel, we depend, we depend on the generosity of our viewers. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends. And don't forget, I do paid reviews because I don't do shit for free. So for 20 US dollars, I'll do a video about a watch, about anything you want to ask me. So 20 US dollars. I've also got fridge space, fridge. I'm going to be sitting over there in the next vids. I'm sitting here because I'm going to use the computer to, to read the, uh, this, this viewer email. Long story. But um, anyhow, please like my vids. Please, 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 fuckers. Please like my vids. Quick whist watch check. We're wearing the Rolex Explorer 2 Polar. Tailored shirt with initials on the cuff. And we've got Paul Smith UK cufflinks. I'm just going to have a bit of a scotch. I've had an absolute bitch absolute bitch of a day absolute bitch and um i gotta tell you fuckers when you have an absolute bitch have a scotch hmm. now fuckers this is a really cool email and uh it comes in from cameron hi arch hi arch Please only use my first name. I've sent you 20 US dollars because I don't do shit for free, fuckers. I would like for you to review and give your thoughts on my new Rolex Daytona reference 116500. What do you think of this sexy piece? Do you think this is a real get the fuck out of my way timepiece? And what does it say about its owner? A little history on the purchase. I purchased a Rolex Sea Dweller 16610 that I had owned for 10 years for a new... What? I sold. He sold his Sea Dweller and he bought an Amiga Speedmaster Sapphire Sandwich, which I then sold uh, to purchase the Ceramic Daytona. I only had the Rolex Submariner for a few months when the AD... Uh, that I know called and said I had the opportunity to purchase the Ceramic Daytona. A little wheeling and dealing went into this purchasing. What do you think? P.S. What are your thoughts on the black versus the white dial? The black dial edged it out for me as I felt the white was just a little busy and didn't seem to come together quite as well visually as the black dial. Thanks, and please keep up the good work, respectively, Cameron. Cameron. Now, i got to tell you, Cameron, Cameron sent me some pics, which I'm going to post in the, in the corner of my my video here. And, you know, i um, I got to be honest with you. This is one of the, the really anticipated watches of all time from Rolex. Because, you know, we had the Rolex GMT. We had the Ceramic GMT, which... I actually, I actually, <laughs> initially I didn't like, I didn't like initially, but I've come to really like it. I love the Batman, Batman, and I, uh, they had the, the Deep Sea, which I thought was a bit big, 44 mil, big fuck off piece, and then they did the Submariner, where I think they fattened it out, but oh, it's not quite my cup of tea. And uh, then they release the Daytona. So I've been anticipating the steel ceramic Daytona. What do I think? What do I think? And I got to tell you truthfully. What do I think? What do you think I think? What do I think? What do I think? These are going for a huge premium over this, the previous model. You can buy one of these at full retail and make a shitload if you can get your hands on one. Obviously, Rolex has milked the supply and demand mechanism for every fucking thing they can. So, 
So what do I think? What's the verdict? What is the verdict? Well, I fucking love it. I love it. It just pops. The GMT and the um, the Saab, you know, the Maxi dial. Uh, I'm not. I like the ceramic, yes, but this Daytona, it just pops. And I gotta tell you the truth, the wide or the, they got the new bracelet, which I think is fucking amazing. Y you know, I mean, you got the solid end link bracelet that I've got on my Explorer, but this new bracelet with the glide lock, absolutely stunning. I really love. The Daytona is so fucking cool. It is. It's the bee's knees. The duck sluts. I fucking love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, I think the black, it just pops. Would I like one? You bet your goddamn fucking ass I'd love one. Naturally, I don't have the dealer connections because I buy everything second hand. So I'd never be able to get one at the moment. I'd have to pay a premium, which I don't do. So for me, it's a bit of a pipe dream. I think it's stunning. If, 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 if a very wealthy fan, very, very, very wealthy fan took me into a AD and said, Archie, Whatever steel sports watch you want from Rolex, <coughs> it's yours. After I got off from groveling for the first five minutes, I would say, Steel Daytona Black Dial, please. I think it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I agree that the black... Look, the black or the white, I'm, I'm normally a... Uh, and very much, I like the white face when there is an option. The Explorer, uh, this is the, the 16570 in 40mm. It just pops with the white. Actually, the black's not terrible. But this Daytona just pops with the black. And uh, I'd have an industrial accident with a Makita. An industrial accident with a Makita to have one. It just, the whole package looks amazing okay i gotta tell you it looks fucking amazing and i've fucking fallen in love with it okay if 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 i had someone said to archie any new steel sports rolex you can have steel daytona black dial number two steel daytona white dial number three number three number three, number three batman the Batman. That's what I would say. The Batman. And uh, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. Let me just close this door here. People are walking by. I gotta tell you then. What do I think? What do I think of this piece? Look, I gotta tell you. Would I buy one with my own coin? Now, they're going for a premium. I, I honestly say, if someone said to me, Do I prefer my gold sub or the Daytona? Gold sub. Gold sub. I, I, it's gold sub. There's no, no contest whatsoever. But if you had the chance to get one of these from an AD at list price, you'd have to go for this. Um, what do I think? Of, it's just, it's just, I've always loved the Daytona. I've never actually owned one. Never owned a Daytona. There you go, fuckers. That's a confession. I've owned so many watches. I've never owned a Daytona. The last Daytona I wore was a pink gold one I took overseas for my friend. Mm. Old model. Well, saf Sapphire, you know. Not that fucking old. Um, but this... I'd love one. I would really fucking love one. It just pops the proportions of the dial, just how the ceramic bezel looks. I think they fucking got it perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love the dial. 
I love the fact it doesn't have a date. I love Daytona's, sorry, I love chronographs with no date. I love the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, no date. I love the Breguet Type 20. I actually prefer the, um, the Erinvale to the Transatlantic Breguet because it doesn't, I think the date is superfluous. You don't need it. You know, I, I know it's an extra complication. It, it, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. But I got to tell you, I love a chronograph with no date. And it's fucking cool. It's fucking cool. I think it's fucking cool. The proportions, um, just the whole watch, like like how the pushes look in relation to the bezel and the dial is perfect. <laughs> perfect size. Uh, I think that's the best ceramic piece. You're asking me honestly, it's no compromise. It's... Not saying that the previous one is a dog. The other one is gorgeous. I, I, I got to tell you, there's so much hype in these Daytonas. I think, I think I want to own one. You know, you know, you know what I mean. Like I'm thinking to myself, what do I want? I'd really love to have a five one nine six Patek, or would I prefer a steel Daytona? Ooh, this, uh, five one nine six. Five one nine six. But I mean, if you if 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 someone said to me, Archie, any steel sports Rolex you can have, ceramic steel Daytona black dial, that is just fucking good. And I wouldn't sell it. I just keep the fucking thing. I just savor it, enjoy it, wear the fucking thing. I'd like to put a strap on it from Fist Candy, like a big rubber rubber sort of fucking thing. I reckon that'd be cool. It's just, there's so much fun with that piece. I, I just adore it. I think it's so cool. I think it's so cool. So I think Rolex has got the mark. They're right on the mark, right on the money. The problem is they're being such cunts with the supply. <laughs> I mean, it's the old Hermes Birkin. We've got to go on a waiting list. It's all fucking... It, this is a consumer product for fuck's sake. How do you increase demand? You make it so no one can obtain it. I mean, we all want what we can't have, don't we? You know? So, <coughs> I adore it. I absolutely adore it. That's all I can say on it. I absolutely, 100% love it to death. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you think. Fuckers, nasty, vicious, vile, nasty, vinyl fuckers, think of that.